What's good, folks? It's been what two weeks since surgery. We're doing good. We just left rehab. Now we're at the room, the pullout housing, and we're waiting on the dread man and the crew to pull up and get these locks. Tighten up. You feel me? Stay tuned. Let's get it. <laughs> they pulled up. Now we're about to get. Yeah, yeah, gang, 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 Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. I'm gonna drop everything. Promote our YouTube channel and our channel also. Okay, yeah, we'll promote each other. Yes. All right, cross promo. Hey guys, it's your girl Keeks, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the dreadlock maintenance process uh, by way of dreadman barbershop and we got george here who's now cleaning up you folks lines and um, isolating each individual lock with the crochet hook and one thing i loved about this experience is that we got to learn how they do it down in manila um, so right now he's uh, separating ha flyaway hairs that have now um, joined in opposite locks like it was supposed to be one dread and it ended up in another um, and one thing that they shared was that uh, if you hold all the hair in uh, one hand and hold it um, securely at the root the flyaway securely at the root with your thumb and index finger and pull um, from the dread that you're trying to pull out from um, uh, in like a diagonal direction from the bottom of the dread um, it's less stressful on the hair and uh, also saves the hair from you know, being ripped from the follicle another thing is um, using elastic bands to keep the separations uh, when you're cleaning up the lines and the, um, the flyaways and um, once they put the elastic bands in, they started working on cleaning up the lock from the bottom of the elastic band. So that spacing between the band and your scalp, um, you know, allows for room to breathe and also um, more comfortable when you want to sleep or, you know, it's much more easier to style your hair. Um, another thing is typically the way I've been doing it, maintaining our locks was pulling it pulling all the flyaways um, into the center of the dread and what I was experiencing with our hair texture is that you know after one wash it, it the flyaways come back out uh, so I really um, appreciate Zubeads and um, his crew uh, Dreadman Barbershop George and John for coming out and just showing us a little bit um, how you know how they've been doing it maintaining their own locks as well as servicing people um, around manila and they provide home services guys so if you're ever down in manila hit them up okay so here he's uh, cleaning up the lock while he works his way down taking all the flyaways and typically i would pull the hair to the center um, but because our hair is a different texture um, more fine on the fine and wavy side um, they come out easily so we found that when they pull it all the way through group them and continue to use it like thread and sew it in a zigzag pattern down the dread it holds um, better and also helps with the matting process you can follow their journey on YouTube at Dreadman Playground let's go folks we get in there So you have a left. Make sure you tap in with Dreadman Barbershop. They the best in the city. Let's get it. But yeah, we'll also leave that information in the uh, caption box, the description box. Make sure you subscribe and follow them as well uh, to follow their journey. Make sure you tap in with Dreadman Barbershop. They the best in the city. Let's get it.
It's a big road for the YouTube. Right on. Amazing. So it's very professional. Usher and position me in harmony with the 